Hi everyone, welcome to Bauer's Kitchen Journal. My name is B, and on today's kitchen journal, we'll be making custard. Custard is basically cornstarch with food coloring. Um, so right now I just have my bowl. This is the make of custard I'll be using. You can use any make of custard that you have access to, it doesn't matter. Um, so I will be using one cup of custard powder and one cup of water. Uh, the one cup is too big it won't fit into the custard bowl so i am using um a third of a cup to scoop it from there into one cup a cup so i'll just add it there and then um lever it make sure i'm not pressing it down and it's all leveled up there is no don't heap it up because otherwise your measurement would be off so Make sure you're doing exactly one leveled cup of custard powder and one cup of water. Custard is one ratio one. So either one cup of um, custard powder, one cup of water, half cup of cu uh, custard powder, half cup of water, two cup of custard powder, two cup of water. So you get the gist? So yeah, one ratio one. Whatever you add, the cost, whatever measurement of custard you use, the same measurement of water you will need to use to uh, mix it. Okay, so now I am going to add in my one cup of water. And while this is going on, I have a full kettle of water that is boiling. You don't want the water to just be hot. You want the water to be boiled, to be bubbling, bubbling, boiled, boiled. So while you are mixing this, make sure your, your water is on fire and make sure the water is hot and boiled and bubbling and the whistle if your kettle has a whistle the whistle is going off you want it to be very very bold okay so i'm just mixing the custard and the cold water so the water is room temperature water it's not warm water it's not cold water it's room temperature so i'm just mixing that in making sure that it's all properly incorporated okay now i am going to grab him grab my um boiled water and i will add it into the custard and i will do that slowly this is the trick um pour in pour in the boiled water slowly and at the same time stir the custard as you are pouring in the water um otherwise either the custard will not set properly or it will be too light something like that so um gradually pour in the hot water so i know it's getting close so i'm slowing down a little bit that way i don't past the mark so you see the custard has set and yeah so this is how it looks it has gone from that watery looking um, mixture to this thick set custard okay so um at this point the custard is basically um ready see how perfect looking it's it is it's a little bit too thick for my taste so i added in a little bit of butter mm. the way it was before actually my mom prefers it that way uh, a little bit thick but i like mine a bit lighter and i will add some more water because it's still too thick for berry's taste so we're just going to mix that uh, custard is usually eaten with either beans fritters or uh, which is akara or moi moi uh, beans cake or just moi moi stew or stewed mo uh, sorry not moi moi stew or is eaten with bean stew or stewed beans and you can also eat it with bread you can eat it um, with instead of putting sugar you can add in some fruit like bananas or berries or pineapples whatever fruit you have apples to sweeten it instead it's, it's also it also tastes nice and it's eating either hot or warm you don't want to eat it cold it would be too thick or it will be too set okay so this is the consistency i am looking for and in the upcoming v um, pictures i'm going to show you how it looks by itself how it looks with powdered milk and how i i i was going to eat it with some moi moi 
which is beans cake so this is the consistency i was looking for and i got it see how perfect looking it it is looking there is no um lump anywhere there is no seed it's looking all perfect it took me a while to master this but once you get the hang of it you'll become a master in it so just make sure you're pouring in the water slowly and mixing it at the same time the hot water and the water is properly boiled so i'm sweetening that with some sugar don't judge me i like my custard a little bit sweet and yeah so the upcoming pictures we have it with powdered milk and then um without milk and with moi moi and yeah that's all i have today on bowers kitchen journal all the ingredients and the measurements i've used i will list it in the description below please don't forget to like share and subscribe and i will see you next time on our next video until next time i do hope you have a good day with all my love this is b bye now